It's November 22nd and it's raining outside. We do have a couple of guys out hunting. The public land hunters are still at it. I guess they brought enough gear that they're going to be able to stay dry and warm. I'm not going to go out in this and try to chase after some does. Uh, I'm not that hungry right now. I probably will be before long because I definitely need to kill some of them, but it's just not going to be today. But what I'm going to do real quick is talk about what I carry with me when I go to the tree stand or to the ground blind. And I'm always a curious person as to what other people take into the field with them. I also love to know how they set up their bow and you know all the little particulars that as hunters you know we always focus on the details uh, so it's kind of fun to look inside of what somebody else is doing so with that in mind uh, let's take a look inside of what I've got here this is my pack this is what I carry uh, it's the Cabela's stalker sling pack and you can find it on cabelas.com I think it's like a 40 some dollar uh, backpack it's perfect for for uh, not not a tree stands because I don't like having you know my arms all tied up when I'm walking you know I can put this thing on pop it on real quick um, this needs to be adjusted but I usually have more clothes on but now it's you know it's easy free I get up into the stand I don't have to move around a lot and just slide it right off and drop it off and put it on the hook uh, so that's why I like the sling pack there's one shoulder strap all right inside the big pocket, I've got my Ozonics unit, and uh, this is the HR300. I don't have my reading glasses on. <laughs> They're in here someplace too. Uh, HR300 Ozonics, and then I carry one of these quick attachment units that Ozonics sells. Just screw this thing right into the tree. Uh, it's quick. I mean, I can screw it into the tree in just a matter of a few seconds because the the uh, uh, threads are very sharp, so it'll go into any kind of tree fast, and all I have to do is set this down on top of it, and I'm good to go. So that's the big pouch. Uh, I carry just a little washcloth that I only use going into ground blinds, uh, because sometimes the windows on the blinds are dirty. Got to have something to clean them up with, so got a washcloth for that. Now, the bulk of what I carry is in this pocket. I talked about reading glasses. You know, I'm pretty much blind on anything close range without these, so i got to have them with me. Uh, this is kind of a cool item. I've talked about it before when I was doing the uh, field dressing video, but it's a little homemade dough dragon system. You put the dough's head through there, cinch it up tight, and then you got a handle uh, to pull them through the woods. So that's a lot easier than trying to grab onto one of the four legs of a dough. They just drag a lot easier when you can pull them head first. So this goes with me, especially now that I'm tagged out on bucks and I'm trying to kill does. I'm hoping to be able to put that thing into use at some point soon. I carry a little uh, hanger. You never know when you go to a tree stand that you haven't been to in a while and there's not a place to hang your pack or not a place to hang your bow. You know, I just need to have a little extra uh, tags. You never have too many tags, as I always say. The more the merrier tags. They go with me everywhere, of course. Now, here's a couple of items that most people wouldn't carry. This is the recovery light for the, for the camera. And this is the light that I use when I'm blood trailing. And it's also a recovery light. Typically, well, it's a video light is what it is. I mean, we call them recovery lights, but really all it is is just a video light. And we use them after dark when we're recovering deer that we've shot in the evening. So it's bright. This is the one that we use on the camera. And this is the one that I carry. Uh, and it's a lot easier to follow a blood trail with a light like this than with a little small flashlight. And you can see, I mean, there's a lot of light this thing puts out. I can cover a lot of ground with this and I can see blood a lot easier than I can with that narrow beam of a flashlight. If I remember right, this is the best score, B-E-S-C-O-R. I can't remember the model number, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, the 36 LED light. Not sure what they call it. Uh, I think they're like 25 or 30 bucks, something in that range. Might even be less than that. It's by far the best blood trailing light that I've ever used. Just that little, I mean, you can put it in your pocket. It's just tiny, it doesn't weigh anything. Uh, where are we at here? I do have a standard flashlight. Sometimes, you know, you're up in the tree stand and you need to see, you know, what did I just drop or, you know, where's that next tree step? 
when you're climbing down in the dark. Uh, having a little small flashlight like this uh, is very convenient. Uh, let's see. I've got two different knives. Normally I probably would only carry one knife, but this is a replaceable blade. I think Outdoor Edge, yes. Outdoor Edge makes this one. Trophy Rock, one of our sponsors, uh, Gene Price at Trophy Rock gave me this one. So super sharp. This is a real handy knife for gutting deer. This one uh, is just a little bit heavier. And sometimes it's nice to have a little bit heavier knife if you're trying to go up through the brisket, especially when you're gutting a buck. But normally I wouldn't carry two knives. I just happen to have two in there now. We're getting down to the end here. I've got a little saw. This is a Hoyman saw. And once again, you get into a tree stand you haven't been in in a while, or uh, you know, you, you find out that we've never filmed out of this tree before, but we've hunted out of it. I need to cut some more shooting lanes or some filming lanes. You don't want a great big giant saw with you. And this little uh, handy fold-up saw doesn't take up much space in my pack. It does a real nice job of cutting off anything that's even up to the size of my wrist. Uh, so that goes with me. There's a uh, Realtree Easy Hanger. A little mini one serves the same purpose as the little Realtree hook. I think this is called the Easy Hook. <laughs> it all fits into the Easy line. Uh, what else have I got? Getting down to the wire. Spare batteries for my little light. And I got one more light. I guess you can't have too many lights. This one is really dim. And this would be something that you might use up in the tree if there's still deer around or something like that and you don't want to spook anything. You just want a little bit of light to see what's in your pack or whatever. I mean, this little job here uh, doesn't put out a lot of light, but you know, also doesn't spook any game. That is it. The only exception being when it gets cold and I'm going to the redneck blind, these two little items right here are going to wind up in my pack as well. You got your LP tank and a little LP heater and uh, I've gotten softer over the years and when it gets really cold out it sure is nice to have something like that in the redneck blind. Uh, takes the chill off, makes it a lot more bearable when you've got especially some high winds and cold temperatures and you can tough out some pretty rough conditions during the late season in those blinds with the little heater. So I guess I'll just leave everything sitting right here and we'll just go through it real slow for you and you can see um, what all we've got. And also you might want to check out my fancy little carrying cases for my light. Uh, jersey glove fits in there perfect. And for the camera light, another of these custom carrying cases. So that's, that's pretty much everything that goes with me into the blind or into the tree stand each day.